This is BBC Five Live on digital, online, smartphone and tablet. The Late News Hour with Phil Williams on Five Live. WikiLeaks has published details of what it describes as wide-ranging hacking tools being used by the CIA. The cyber weapons allegedly include some software developed in the States, but MI5, which is obviously the UK's domestic intelligence agency, is alleged to have helped build spyware to uh, attack Samsung televisions. Dr. Joseph Fitsanakis is a professor in the Intelligence and National Security Studies program at Coastal Carolina University in the United States, and he joins us now on Five Live. Hi. Hello. Tell, tell us, Joseph, how credible are these claims that uh, they can be spying on you through your smart TV sets? They sound pretty credible. Actually, very much in the typical type of work uh, for particularly the collections division. And it doesn't strike me as out of character in any way. Do we need to be concerned? Do we need to uh, rethink all the technology that we're putting in our homes? I mean, look, uh, the CIA is traditionally known for conducting human intelligence, basically using actual living, breathing individuals to collect information. But in the last 30 or 40 years, it's become apparent that uh, life as we know it incorporates uh, a large number of electronic devices, whether that is online uh, media, like Facebook, or any kind of social platform of negotiation and communication, or electronic devices like phones, televisions, And so as far as the CIA is concerned, and not just the CIA, but MI6 and other agencies of this kind, all of these are fair game because humans tend to use them to communicate. Why is it just Samsung TVs? Is is there any suggestion that some technology firms are in collusion with intelligence agencies or not? Well, that would not be the first time. Let me remind you that uh, uh, post-9-11, the uh, so-called Stellar Wind Program of the National Security Agency incorporated a collusion between the government agencies in America and large telecommunications providers. The providers were basically promised that they would not be sued uh, by the consumers to allow for this to happen. So that would not be the first time. In fact, this uh, collaboration between the private sector and government agencies goes all the way back to the Cold War and before. That would not be particularly shocking. Often, uh, private uh, corporations uh, like to play well with the government because, I mean, yep, you want to have a good relationship with the, the government of various countries. Uh, so I would not be particularly shocked if there was some degree of co- collaboration. But I think that what this points to is not necessarily an institutional collusion between the agencies in the private sector, but more perhaps individuals within companies that individually help uh, the intelligence community. Uh, front page headlines here tomorrow morning, Doctor. The uh, the Sun and the Mirror, two of Britain's biggest tabloids. The Sun says spying your TV, and the Mirror says MI5 bugging smart TVs uh, will cause uh, perhaps some concern amongst consumers. Uh, what would you say to them? It makes perfect sense that consumers would be concerned about this. On the other hand, the government uh, would pose the following question. Do you want your security or not? The government is required to maintain the national security of, uh, in this case, the United States. And so the argument is that along with that comes some degree of negotiation about the limits of privacy. That is very much part of that discussion, I would think. Thank you very much for your thoughts tonight, Dr. Joseph Fitsanakis, Professor in the Intelligence and National Security Studies Program at Coastal Carolina University in the United States. 21 minutes past 11. It's the Late News Hour on Five Live. This is BBC Five Live on digital, online, smartphone and tablet.